wow, look at this. This tree has actually split yep. down the middle. <laughs> and this is all because the ground underneath it has been moving? Yes, there is a crack, there is a crack that formed because uh, the ground is uh, creeping on the top of permafrost. I've never seen anything like this before, but here we are just 30 kilometers west of Whitehorse, tucked in between the Alaska Highway and Takini River, seeing the impacts of permafrost thawing firsthand. And just a few meters from the split trees, something even more shocking. All that is flat and with no sediment in it, translucent, it is the ice that is, uh, is melting in the permafrost. And you can see that there is quite a lot in this area. Yeah. Research has told us Canada's north is warming faster than the rest of the country. But here in the Yukon, we actually had a chance to see it. This is known as a retrogressive thaw slump. It was first discovered in 2019. And since then, the Yukon University's Climate Change Research Department has been studying it closely. Drone footage from the area shows just how massive it is in size, 60 meters from one end to the other, and retreating 10 to 15 meters every year. And according to scientists, it's relatively new. From what we know, from the Google imagery and some surveys that we have done. Uh, there was nothing there before uh, 2014. So the slump developed in the last uh, six years. Walking around the area, we had to be really careful watching each step for holes because of ground movement. Really have to watch your step studying here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tension cracks. After leaving the slump, we made one last stop at the trees where I noticed something really concerning. What I find pretty scary mm -hmm. is I can see our cars over there. Yep. We're really not far from the highway whatsoever. Yes, it's why we are here, right? Yeah. It's why we are studying and we are monitoring things. Fabrice and his team have been monitoring everything from permafrost movement to temperature changes in hopes of being able to accurately predict when the ground movement might reach the nearby Alaska Highway. With the rate that the slump is retreating, he believes we only have about five years. And so they've been working on developing a warning system. If, for example, the landslide decide to recede and reach the road, uh, you need a system that will uh, record this, uh, this fact and uh, send a message to uh, the manager in such a way that he can close the road and prevent any, uh, any casualties or accident. But this is just one example of how permafrost is impacting the Yukon. Take a look at this well-known picture from Dawson City. This building has collapsed because of the ground moving, and the university sent us several other examples of cracks in homes and schools. And so here at Yukon University, the team has developed hazard maps for several communities. We are making maps uh, that have a color chart. Green means a stable ground to build on, yellow means climate change could make the area a risk in the future, while red means you should avoid it altogether because of unstable permafrost. We have to uh, learn fast because things are changing very fast. Here in the Yukon, the issue of climate change is very real. And while they can't change the fact that the permafrost is thawing, they can at least be prepared for what the future of the territory might look like.